Well. <laughs> oh boy, this should be a very interesting one to do. So, Samurai Jack is back. That doesn't hold that much weight for me in Kentucky Fun, but I shall explain. But anyway, nowadays it is definitely quite rare for shows to return after they've been canned. Unless you get a mediocre reboot. You know? But every once in a while it happened. It happened through trauma. Happened to be a butthead for one thing and then it got canned again. You know? And now I'm a Samurai Jack. So, I think most people know what Samurai Jack is again. Samurai Jack is a big cartoon show from early 2000s that was just a lot more different than any other show. Probably, it is what, it is It's a cartoon where Avatar was for Nickelodeon, I think. But, regardless, you more adult when it comes like TV years ago. We can go show our like and back a long training about dialogue and it takes off, you know, the phone totally up here and there. You know, it takes off pretty critically in there. You know, definitely, it takes off more critically than most. So, so kind of making a cartoon like wow, any kid never aired a show like this. Cause, you know, cause long training about dialogue a lot of the time. I mean, in the first episode, the main character gets beat until like halfway, maybe a little over halfway through. So, it's one more show that I knew about, but I never actually had watched. I don't, I, it's a thing. I don't think I started actually paying attention to watching TV until like, like 2003-ish. And I get, I might be in an episode or part, I knew it was a thing, I knew what it was, but I just never watched it. Gotta get, go on. But, recently, I watched the whole community. You know, I did a marathon, and just a few days ago, I finished watching the community. And... Because I heard they're bringing it back. It was going to be on Adult Swim, but it wasn't going to be a reboot. It was going to be a continuation of 5 of the show. With Genny Tarataki back. He, I can say it right. No Tatara Company. And they got as much visual proof they could. Um, looking at the credits, a lot of the people well, from the credit visual were there. So, I think he wrote the code probably, Randy. Um, so, yeah. It's definitely interesting to have, and they're changing critically, they are completely bringing it back. The main difference is that Cuckoo Don't Whim is now TV-14 and allowed to be a little more mature. You know, they're gonna show, you know, you know, kind of the original, they could all well, they still have to get around kind of thing. So come up with Cuckoo, a little silly, and, um, I'm not best again. I gotta get a deep pen. Or wear a different one. Um, and they started to get, you know, bad, the, he had to chop apart robot and replace blood with oil. Yeah, I'm going no, no blood. But, well, they still have robot here, and they still chop them up, but done a little more grotesquely. Because it took more oil than before, like, he chopped the robot early on. Um, but anyway, go. So I'm definitely very excited for a new game, because we're talking about quality of show, come back, and... I caught up in the screen, and it, if a lot of people bet, it is very surreal to watch a brand new episode of Camera Jack after so long. Because I just watched the screen a few days ago, it was kind of weird for me. In fact, I feel like I'm probably in a better, because some people, I don't know, some people might have come back and watch the episode, or some people probably haven't watched it in a year or in a little while. Yeah, I'll go. But, well, I'm a good place to judge whoever the catch is the original. Like, you should, if it's direct continuation, you should be able to watch the original hearing when you go to the point immediately and not feel like too much has changed, you know? I feel like most of a better continuation of a show may do that. Yeah, no direct continuation, not talking about reboot or spin off or anything. I like, can never think that. Dang it. You know? Anyway, but anyway, go. We gotta bring back the whole thing and then. I won't came right out and not gonna do it off for the whole thing again. The main reason then, um, the, oh, I never talked about how I felt about this movie. It's really good. <laughs> I really like it. I don't love it to text people, you know, objectively, there's nothing wrong with it. Some up and can be, it can be, it might taint things. Some up and a bit full of taint and, you know, simple. You know, but there's definitely some, it definitely was a great show and definitely some great episode. The tale of that nine got me to cry, so there you go. And, you know, plenty of show got me to cry, but. I think more than one show maybe get rid of this go. I wrote Cook I Love, Jack and I Now. Then um uh Birth of Evil, a two parter. Um 
Jackman in the Path to Core, um, Jack Love Monster, and Jack in the Farm, the most epic epic <laughs> definitely. Way more epic than the movie 300. Um, go, yeah, um, and, um, and of course, Jack and the Frying Dragon. I like that one, though. Uh, Aaron Springer was right on the show, and of course, he usually wrote with Philly Upcode. And also, Jack and the House. Talk about Brian getting type. That up is going to be a main up a go, though. Uh, probably one, probably like top five for me. Um, not like a pick a favorite, but why well, just get all on my, all my favorite. Um, but now, I'll go over two things. While the episode, I find myself not having a lot to talk about. Like, like what episode? Can I have a ninja? He fights a ninja. No, cool. That's why I think about that episode. And I feel like this will follow the game vein. So, I'll do that for this. And then knock the finale. And maybe if I get up a code in between that I have a lot to talk about or I want to talk about, I will. But it won't be every upcode and end up looks really interesting. You know? But let me give my first impression on the cup of code in general. It was really good. Like it genuinely feels like we captured the original game spirit and they're again free control to do what they wanted. I mean, it feels like I'll watch the original again. It look a bit different, yeah. For one, they can HD now, of course. But, uh, again, they found before, long before the HD thing. I don't know when HD started, but to me, like, 2008, 9-ish, going around that time. Go, so, I'm long before the HD thing. Um, first of all, the animation looked big the game, but it's slightly different, you know, because of technology and I get it back, but it still looked great. Um, the animation still looked beautiful, whatever. Um, again, it definitely done digitally, probably. I actually don't know. I tried to look up a little more information, but anyway, it's done. Probably done digitally, but still looking really good. You know, and and, the, and it's all tone wise, like the original. It's all taken up pretty critically, but there's a little bit of humor in there. It's mostly curious until we get the scanning robot <laughs> with my Tom Kenny. Um, Tom Kenny definitely the original. Like, all the way kind of back, it kept for, for, for Patty Pocket. Mako? Mako. Mako? Mako. I don't care. I just kind of go for that shit. Mako, Mako, Pale Potato. Um, Gorky, you're a bit too dead. Um, go, oh, I believe. The king guy who played to my avatar, I think. Oh, he get one line. Um, I could not technically appear in this. Um, he's still alive, though. Obviously, if he was alive, Jack Paul would be called. <laughs> He's dead, Jack Paul would be called, okay? The plot is that it looked to go, the two episodes basically a refresher to show off where we are now and show what Jack has been doing. It's 50 years, but Jack did not age because of the time thing, yet he still lets his beard grow out. He got a beard and a cool, like, samurai salute. Um, but he has lost his sword. And oddly enough, in spite of what we see, that's the point where I started to go. Dang, I don't feel sorry for him. Like, I've always felt sorry for him because, you know, I mean, but including that reveal, I'm like, oh, man. Now I really want to get back to the past. My favorite part might be the part where I had to get back. Back to the past. Get right, Jack. Fortune help, it look awesome. The original theme make it technically shown with the recap and everything. You know, I like the original theme, but at the same time, do we need to be reminded of a premise in every episode? But it does play at the end. The ending credit bit is still there. And when it appears, well, one, I'll get to count and count. I'm like, oh, it's already over? Like, I'm enjoying it so much that I'm kind of sad that it was over. And I have had that feeling in a long time. When it's coming end, if I'm loving it, I'm like, good, I can move on to either next episode or move on to doing another thing. But here I'm like, oh, I genuinely want to end. And, I give credit, I have that foul feeling, and even when I'm watching Coming Live, I get that feeling, like, I just want it to be done, I'm going to come out, you know, if I'm loving it. But because it felt like it went by fast, I don't know. But most characters I got going are kind of like that. Like, yeah. Yeah, I got, got um, the, the, the big open with a scene that could long stretch of silence. Yeah, there's a lot of stretch of silence. Don't dialogue, but only because we need to get you up to speed. You know, Jack and they can go, go, they capture that feeling. Now, how much more adult is it? Well, basically, well, the big, big plot, Jack and Baker are going to be feeling guilty because he couldn't get back, he still got to that, and dealing with stuff, and 
uh, coup in um, raking Gandalf, not literally from him. Oh, good, that's something I don't want to think about. Um, but, or, well, Gum one gave birth to the daughter, but I don't want to know how that happened. I, I don't want to. But when can we come down to attack, um, Jack, and that's one but sure thing that, I mean, you know, but children get beat up in this. Um, get hurt. Like, if they're being, like, trained, like, really harshly, I might add, like, one part. They look for the crack, give you outside the world, and, you know, they need to get punished for looking, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all in the spirit of the original doing well, it's tough for a story purpose, so, it doesn't feel completed, I think, you know. No, I think we're gonna darkest moment, cause, the only stuff for, like, with Jack, I feel like, it's craggy dark, like, well, it's tier 14, so it's not, like, TMA level, you know? Um, um, but, I feel like it doesn't go, well, can you have for it, but I feel like it doesn't go too far, it's there for you to it again, or it's fit, you know, I don't, um, one thing I find interesting about that, before it can be going through a pretty nice game during Aku, but where, I guess they wanted to wait to show Aku, but he doesn't get technically appear, he gets a voice cameo, which will go like, over a smartphone. To be fair, it does take place in the future, like it kind of applied, and it can merely get smashed right after it needed. And so Jack took the future and had all this technology. Go a Capogue, and they're welcome, but there's no reference to like. Go, I got them with my other thing. Like, do we need a smartphone appearing in the? I mean, whenever phone did appear, it looked like a normal phone. But only from once when Aku or Pika. <laughs> but it was f too fair. The, yeah, there is a feel from here a little bit with a gadding robot. A gadding gay robot. Real. That's gonna go over all the Tumblr. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, my favorite moment are the, like, work, work apart with Jack and, like, like, Jack is doing some guilt, so he, like, he, like, imagines that. Oh, alright, um, five, two, one, one. <laughs> Good, yeah. Um. Um, yeah, of course, we'll have Um, <clears throat> well, um, what, what was that game? I'm talking about... I <laughs> have about my train of thought. Huh. Um, I do need to find a What are we talking about? Jack. Okay, he's, um, he's looking at kind of like, parents are talking to him. By the way, Dad is named Emperor because I mentioned and he did an AMA thing on Tree and Rock from Tree and I watched a couple of it and he said, his dad named Emperor because I'm not good. <laughs> go. There we go. Um, Man, it's kind of amazing how that guy can go from doing from Kirk and Jack, but I'm killing like Hold a Strength Comedian movie and um, Death in the Lab. God, even Death in the Lab. I've watched Death in the Lab too. I'm on the Lear up going to Death in the Lab right now, though, so. Yeah, I should work on that. But, we do have to go out pretty good, though. Um, <laughs> I get my death dad to watch Game of the Titan. That would need a round for that, too. I can order Genny Shot to put it over. Um, yeah, we can, right? Yeah, I think I'll. I'm gonna have to go. Take it, take it, booty. <laughs> okay, okay, back on track. The king were, like, one or two king were incriminating. The parents were talking to him and going, Why are you even faking us? And both kings were really good because it really get you, show you that Jack is really just, man, he is not, not feeling it. He just, been 50 years again, he just feel bad that he couldn't, they go off the court, he can't get to the past. Camera, um, you know, you know, and it can really affect the king in this. I feel like if this one was really enjoyable, that king or told they're yeah, really solid and ever. And the opening king had him, but all he, the definitely taking him from the Mad Mac, Mad Jack Aku Road. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'm not gonna make that joke. Um, they were very, I agree with the king a lot of fun, but it was really enjoyable. I like Bobby the action king, I like the king where we get to keep going on. I like, 
main trick, main trick idea, quick back down and down. And I'm overall very pleased, looking great. I think mean, they really take the emotion into there, the action toy, the animation, everything is there. I think, is there any crunk thing I'm gonna have? Not really. I mean, I can one or two bit, like, come on, big dark mic. They little, little, I don't know, I don't know how people feel about. Oh, I feel, I feel like we're really keen to go into, like, hardcore territory. And it mostly works for me, just one or two bit. And I guess for, like, logic problem, I guess, but, um, and, like, in, in the thing, I'm not part, cause I didn't have to wait 10 years, um, like, 12 years, I'm not crazy and get to the hype, like, I don't know, I'm a little judgmental no, fairly, but, you know, but if I am a hype, I don't really enjoy this, you know, not sure if I think of viewing, if I watch it again, I don't know if I will watch it again, maybe I will, um, I still probably will enjoy it, because it's a lot of fun, it just felt like I was watching it again. again, just a little more mature, you know, yeah. It's it's the story being convenient for it to be there. Okay, and this is a plan for my kids again. I mean, you know, training yeah. every time he tried to get back on a jack, it just always failed. Like oh he even got a little soul collector. It failed. Go. Go victim kind of the next step. I'm doing that. I think mean, I probably got a cue on giving up I'm steering and he can't kill that damn camera. Yeah. I got one thing to bring up about the usual hearing, but basically, what up with a blank link A, the memory game at the past, because he's not ready. Like, they show an image of him in the future, like, show him, like, a crown or something, and he's really old looking. And the gay, he's not ready yet, you know. And that was, like, mid hearing, go. So maybe he spoils <laughs> how go look like the part to follow that and thing. But he looked old, and here he had an age. So, I don't know, look up that. May will start to age eventually. He gave a bit, he got the beard. You know? I don't know. They need to explain that. Why he mainly grew it out. Um, probably could definitely everything I wanted. You know, even a coin who more casual fan, you know, again, I only just watched it, obviously, but, um, yeah, but can definitely, I'll get betting, or wanting, and I really highly enjoy this go. That didn't come, by the way, no Epico title, because. The day had title, but I'll keep Roman numeral for it. You know, and there you can that. By the way, Roman numeral for the, like 90 something, which is skipping a bit to maybe show. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, definitely. I think I, I won't tweak on it a little bit when I pay attention. And most people definitely seem to like it. So, hopefully, it'll go really well. And, and we have to. How long? We have one more going to go, I think. So, hopefully it can keep it up. It can be more clear lines than the other game, well, which will get Pagonic, which I thought worked, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, we can't end, it's like, we know, have, it's like, there'll come up a code where, like, you can get to Pat Bo, we pack up Chant for you, we'll go Chant, and it's like, yeah, we can come up got predictable, because you know you can't get back to the pad, they have to keep getting going possible, you know, but there's quite a thing they should have kept the show of what, great for beginning, middle, and end, um, you know, but this will be lacking in them, I mean, he's getting a rolled out doing something else with it, but they can hopefully get back to the pad, or they're going to hope defend that thing, like, like, and one thing I think I'm just getting back, one thing, I had a few questions, like the fact that, why can't you, you know, why can just all, Aku, you know, the whole story started because he can't do, he opened up all the time with the feature. Why just do that again? To get the feature again? He'll come back, but he only have to wait, like, how long to deal with him again. He had to keep doing that until I, well, they never explain why he can't open another time portal or something. Maybe they're going to have patients come where and report of, like, the first report, but uh, they never explain that. They explain why Jack can't just, like, give up on the time thing to try to call Aku in the present. Well. Yeah. I'll call why Jack can't kill off. Well, technically, kill off. The Aku can't go Jack with his own sword. Yeah, which. Yeah, but, um. But, anyway, go, yeah. Quite enjoyable, and go. There you go. Again, not a tweet about hoping in, but. I will do a finale, and if I get up, I find anything else to talk about. You know, I'll be there every week at 10 to watch the Open Live go. I'll go. Go. There we go, come right back. Go glad to have it back, you know? You know, I'm especially happy for people who had to wait this long. Yeah? I only had to wait a few days. 
Go, yeah, go. See you on the... Go, hope you enjoyed the... I'm gonna call it Fungy Mom. I had a video on YouTube every day, Monday through Saturday. So, tomorrow I get to take a break. Well, Monday I'm gonna come back with my low and the funny for Monday. Go, hopefully nothing that fine to talk about. Okay, good enough. I'm trying to go. And again, is that I'm probably won't do that again because I'm just gonna. If an episode is really interesting, if I like, okay, I have to talk about this at length. Yeah, I will. But we'll probably be one or two of them I do before the finale. So, you know, new Monday for my new Murphy. But next week, um, there's a lot of fun all my Murphy bomb, which uh, like two really good shows getting there in the new bomb form. Well, only think by the first episode of Up on the week is bad luck related, or very thematically related to my that way. Bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, we do right. Okay, I'm gonna say bye, but um, am Jack and Mac.